Greetings, Edward Ojambo from Ojambo.com. Ojambo.com has an article about GBIM Advanced Editor Review. So the link is Ojambo.com slash GBIM hyphen advanced hyphen editor hyphen review. Now you can download GBIM from the vim.org website. And if you need plugins, you can go and install them from the vim.org vim script links.php link. Now the Ojumbo.com Tic Tac Toe Pro can be downloaded on Google Play or Android. This page was edited in GVIM. If you need help with web or if you need mobile applications, you can visit ojamboservices.com. That's O J A M B O S E R V I C E S dot com in the Toronto, Ontario area. Okay, let's begin. I'll give him open up here. First thing we'll do is check the theme. You can notice it already takes the native theme. If you don't like the, you can always choose a different color theme. For example, uh, dark blue, Murphy, or any other one. So I'll just go back to the default. Okay. Next, we're gonna try the drag and drop features. I have my web browser here. You notice I open them up in different tabs and that works very nicely using the tab plugin and you can put them in different locations next we're going to open up a huge one gig file and as you can see it is opened up and the good thing about this there's no crash and I can edit it for example I pick a random number and I just type in as you can see the line numbers on the bottom there and I've actually saved it now because I'm doing a screencast it takes a little bit longer because I have so many windows open but it does work it's really fast if I wasn't screencasting it would be like instant almost okay once again you see I'm still editing the file and that's it so next we're going to try the uh, multiple documents on different monitors obviously you can open different versions of GVM and here I have the multiple editor view I split the screens you can split as m the view or window as many times as you want you can even have different uh, buffers split as well and I can s create a non-project specific file which is a text file and I'll save it I'll overwrite the old one. Ask me when to save. Yes. Okay, that's pretty straightforward. And can obviously drag and drop inside it. Next, we're going to check the word wrap features. First thing you have to do is enable it. Uh, by default, it's not. So different types of word wrap, and you can see it's already wrapped. Uh, you can notice the title tags there. They're wrapped. So you can do soft wrap, uh, or hard wrap. Next, we're going to try this, this spell check. By default, it's off again. You can enable it. And you see there, it automatically grabbed it. <clears throat> you can have different uh, spell check languages. For example, you see the American spelling and the uh, Canadian spelling. And if I make a real mistake, I'll spell color wrong, and you notice it picked it up even before I went to the next line okay that works the forward count uh, is a built-in feature of is G control G and you can see on top there it tells me how many words or many characters you can also use the command line but I prefer to do it that way G, control G, and tells me how many lines, words, and everything as well. Very nice. Next, we're going to test the go to uh, feature. I'll put in the, the line numbers so you can see them. Okay, it's the line numbers. So, for example, I'm on line three. If I want to go to the top and to the end, it's pretty simple. And then if I want to go to a specific line, I just type it in, two, boom, I'm right there. Excellent. Next, we're going to try the indentation. 
you have to enable it again or indent so I'll just type some text here indent test then I create a child after tabbing and you notice when I press enter immediately it goes to the correct tab indented perfect next we'll try the fonts we can easily change the font I'm um, using monospace I can change 12 the font changes however the font zoom plugin is not working very well I cannot zoom in and out dynamic font zoom it's not built-in features or plugin so we'll skip that next we'll try the regular expression find and replace for example you see there that was for a specific file now one did not change I can do multiple files over the entire session so I prefer the pop Perl standard and you can see there it checked how many files all three files were checked one was eight lines 28 lines and 16 lines and in order to actually enable that one I just press enter and go over to that file and you see there we go so it changed every in all those files so next we're gonna try the multiple language syntax highlighting you have to enable it again you see the JavaScript the HTML and PHP very very nice next we'll try the code folding so you have to once again you have to enable I, I put the line number so you can see it and you just go to two uh, tools enable you have to what what type of fold method you want as you can see it's very elaborate so for this example we just do the indent one that's usually for programming usually you go by indent so for example uh, if I there press it there we go it, that's indented very uh, sorry indent called code folded very nice now we're gonna try the rectangular block select control V and then you can select as you can see it works very nicely as well and shift I to insert text and you can start typing to replace it very very nice okay so next we're gonna try the multiple select function that means you select over multiple lines unfortunately there was no way I could find to do that in GVIM uh, you can just basically only select one and I cannot select uh, another one so it's really shame there okay so next we're gonna try the uh, distraction free mode so I just go to global setting and I can just remove the uh, line numbers from the files and then get rid of the toolbar just toggle toolbar that's it very nice so now there's no distraction just go with your text uh, we're gonna try the file manager it's a text-based file manager you just uh, you go up to the window split file manager see that's a file manager there so it has some specific functions there's a help file there so I left the my file browser open so you can see when I make changes for example if I want to create a, a new folder boom it's created right there I cannot drag and drop that's uh, so it loses a few there's a few points there but you can delete folders it's pretty straightforward and you can also run basic uh, Linux commands in the terminal okay so those are the help for the file manager you can see you can do so many different things it's very uh, yeah everything you can do right there okay so I would rather just do it everything in a command line because it does uh, it does not follow the path but in this case it did when when you open the file it, it's kind of smart enough to do it that way okay so 
the overall score for GVM was 85% or 8.5 out of 10. Now remember, if you to try out this uh, tic-tac-toe game, like it's available on the Google Play Store for Android or the Amazon. Hope you find this information useful. Then the review can be found at ojumbo.com. Please visit and leave feedback.